Alrighty, I think I'm all set up. I think so. We're kind of at a weird angle, but I have some stuff on the sides. But anyway, we've got Dairy Queen. I'm so excited about this. So hello, my spicy little tacos. And welcome back to another Mukbang Monday. Today is actually Sunday. So I'm filming this on time and hopefully it'll be up on time. I had some trouble uploading my last video. I put it out there that um, it uploaded with no audio. So I had to go back, re-edit it because it also was like uploaded. Um, the edited version was uploaded in my phone with no audio too. So that was a whole thing. And then it took forever to re-upload to YouTube. But anyway, let's get into this Dairy Queen mukbang. I don't know if this is new. I've already drank some of it because I couldn't help myself, but it's the white mocha shake. It is delicious. So first off, we've got some fries. I did eat some of my fries. We've been shopping all morning, so I was really hungry. Also got some queso. Some napkins and ketchup. And I'm really hoping that I'm going to be able to eat this because I've been having like some trouble with meat lately, but it's not like, I don't know. It's like off and on and like some meats okay. And then it won't be okay. It's really weird. I'm having a lot of trouble with food this pregnancy. So yeah, that's been really, really fun. Anyway, I got the hot dogs. I have been craving a hot dog since before Halloween, and it's like November 12th. Okay, it smells fine, so we're good. I got a plain hot dog. This is the one that I'm most nervous about. I have been craving chili. Oh, and I can't stand the smell of cooking meat, so I haven't been able to cook anything. Oh, it does have cheese on it. Mm. Yeah, it smells a little funky. Mm, I got a chili cheese dog. It's not making me instantly gag, so maybe we're good. <laughs> All right, I have no idea how to even do this thumbnail with my hot dogs and my fries. Oh my gosh, I ate too many of the fries. <laughs> I'm gonna put a napkin at the bottom, make it look more full. Because <clears throat> I did get into them. Oh, righty. I have no idea what to even do for this. I'm just gonna hold them up, I think. Okay, totally that's a good thumbnail. I'm too hungry. I am way... Oh, the ketchup is right here. I meant to grab my ketchup bottle. All right, let's try the chili cheese dog first. Do I want mustard on it? Usually I put mustard on them. Oh, I'm nervous for this one. I'm gonna put some mustard on the side and just dip it. Okay, let's try this one first. Hold on, maybe this will be a good thumbnail. Okay, all right, let's try it. Let's dip in the mustard. I think we're good. Mm-hmm. It's, it's baby approved so far. Man, I look rough. I have no makeup on. And I have literally been getting like, well, the past two nights I've gotten some sleep, thank God. But um, some of the nights I've only been, or I should say most nights, I've only been getting like four hours of sleep. Mmm. I'm so glad that that's baby approved. All right, 
let's get this plain hot dog going. Need some ketchup and some mustard. Oh, I love hot dogs. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever done a hot dog mukbang. Have I? I don't know. I think maybe I did one time. Now that I'm thinking about it, was it A and W or did I get something else from there? Yeah, I think A and W I did get a hot dog. Mm. There's SD case that was so good. Mmm. Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. So, but yeah, I've barely been getting any sleep and I've been waking up like ready to go for the day between the hours of like four and six o'clock. But I haven't been going to bed till like super late. So I've been like exhausted, but anyway, today I got up. I woke up at like six, but laid in bed till like 7.30. I tried to go back to sleep. But at 7.30, I got up and I made banana nut muffins and uh, blueberry muffins. They were so good. And I think I have finally mastered, I got a milk frother and I think I finally mastered making kind of like a cold foam for my at-home coffees. Ooh. And they've been so good. Oh my gosh. I almost choked. <laughs> I've got a bag full of shoes, like my summer shoes, like sandals and stuff. And they're sitting on top of a laundry hamper, hamper full of clothes that I'm not going to be able to wear at all this winter. They're not going to fit me. Um, and a shoe just fell out of the bag. And this is the crap out of me oh my gosh that was funny but yeah so I made muffins and then after we ate we got dressed and ready and we ran some errands we had to go to the store which is always fun um But I found some really interesting veggie pizzas. That I'm going to try out for what I eat in a day on TikTok. And maybe I'll do a mukbang with one of them. Because I have been so struggling with, with meat. So like I can eat the meat as long as I don't smell it cooking. Once I smell it cooking, I can't eat it. It's not gonna happen. Lunch meat and sausage right now, breakfast or like um, sausage on like a pizza, absolute no-go at all. Like, uh-uh. So that's been not fun.
So unless I get like, unless I go out to eat, I have not been eating any meats. Like usually I eat out on the weekends because I do my muffins and I have like little treat days I get my Taco Bell. Um, those have been the only times I've been like eating meat only because I don't smell it cooking. But at home, I've just been eating like a ton of veggies and carbs like rice and potatoes and bread. <laughs> Mm. So if you've seen any of my what I eat in a days on TikToks recently, you notice that there's like there's no meat. Yeah, there might be in one of them. No, I don't think so. So it's been a really big struggle because all because I love cooking I love cooking dinner mm. and I can't do eggs I was fine with like McDonald's eggs and then I got a breakfast burrito and it was like uh-uh nope couldn't do it so yeah eating has kind of been a little bit of a struggle because I want to cook dinner and it's just not not really been happening like I still make dinner but um it's been like vegetarian options <laughs> unless Canton like cooks outside Yeah, so we went to the store. <laughs> you can hear them talking. So we went to the store. That was fun. I hate going to the store. And then we went to Gabe's, which I don't know how many are in Indiana. But we went there and so I have to get like some bigger sweatshirts and sweaters because I am starting to show a lot more. I am starting to show so much faster than I did with Dylan. I'm getting a little nervous because <laughs> I am not very tall and my torso is not very big. Like I am... <clears throat> I'll be 17 weeks when I post this. Well, yeah, because right now I'm six, 16 weeks, six days. So 17 weeks, basically. Um, and I'm as big as I was when I was probably about six months pregnant with Dylan. Because what, 17 weeks is like four months, right? Yeah, like about four months. Um... So I'm already like, yeah, <laughs> I don't know how to do that math. So yeah, at four months now, I'm the same size as I was six months with Dylan. Yeah. And I got pretty big with her. So I'm really nervous. And so far, like, my symptoms have been, the nausea comes and goes. Some days it's really bad. Some days I'm fine. <laughs> it just depends. I'm still exhausted. Um, been getting headaches. Not like bad ones. Um, usually if I drink some peppermint tea, they go away. So they haven't been super bad. Um, I already have round ligament pain and pelvic pain. And the worst, other than 
the whole meat thing and not really being able to eat certain foods. My sciatic nerve. Ooh, I would have to say that one's it's getting pretty spicy. It's been hurting. Oh, it's been hurting. I've been doing some like yoga and stretching to help with it. Mm, but it's still, it's not very fun. And we'll try to show you guys my bump real quick. Because I really haven't been vlogging. I think I'll vlog when I get my anatomy scan, which is my next appointment. Some of my other appointments have just been kind of like boring, like nothing fun has happened. Oh, I gotta get up. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm wearing sweatpants. Last time I had on a tight outfit, but yeah, there it is in my sweatpants. Can you guys see it? Oh my gosh, the band of my sweatpants is getting tight. But yeah, there he is. But yeah, that's my little, my little bump. So, like, usually, ooh, I wear small, and now I am, like, I'm in a large. Just because, you know, when I was pregnant with Dylan, I didn't like any tight clothes or, like, anything that was, like, remotely a little snug. This sweatshirt right here, it's a small, and it's kind of, oof. So, I've gotten some large sweat sweatshirts and sweatpants. These ones that I have on right now are medium, and they were big on me. Oh, I just can't stand, like, the tight band. It has to be loose. Like, I have to be able to, like, not really feel it on me. I ordered some maternity flare leggings and regular leggings. And for sweatpants, I just got the uh, men's Fruit of the Loom sweatpants from, like, Walmart. I don't want to buy a whole bunch of maternity clothes because I'm not going to wear them very long. So, I'm just getting, like, a few things. Like, I got a sweatshirt from Gabe's. And I have two other sweatshirts picked out on Amazon that I'll definitely wear after that are like an oversized fit and they're so cute. And then the leggings that I ordered. I'm just trying to find stuff that's not very expensive. I am going to order some stuff off Shein. Because that's definitely not very expensive. Also, like some fabrics have been like giving me like the, 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 ugh, the ick being pregnant like before I was pregnant um unless it was like an itchy fabric I didn't have a problem with it but now like some fabrics I don't even know what fabrics they are just like some of my clothes like the fabric on them I'm just like ugh, and I don't like them so yeah those have really been all my symptoms oh and a stuffy nose my nose has been stuffy that's also been really irritating The shake is so good. <clears throat> so, so good. And this cheese. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad that the hot dogs were okay. I was so scared I wasn't going to be able to eat them. Mm. Some of my cravings have been really weird. 
I have been craving yogurt. I wasn't a very big yogurt person before. I've been getting the Chiobani Flip yogurts. And also French toast sticks have been a big one. Um, what else? Just anything spicy, really. Taco Bell's been a big craving, obviously. But I'm trying to think of things that aren't fast food. Yeah, mainly just Taco Bell is the biggest one. Anything really spicy. And just, like, lots of vegetables. But, like, the veggies have to be, like, crispy. So I usually pan fry them. And then either do buffalo sauce or some kind of hot sauce. Potatoes have been a really big craving in any form. And I've yet to try this craving yet because I've never tried it before. But I've been, I saw on, um, I've been watching The Middle on Max. And they got like a pizza with pineapple on it. And I've never tried that before, but I was like, I need to try that. So yeah, I've been craving that. Also, I get out of breath a lot. especially when I'm talking. Man, that shake is so good. Also, if you guys see like a lot of cuts in my videos, it's because I'm either clearing my throat or I'm sniffling and I try to cut all of those out just because I've had such a stuffy nose lately. Because like, I wasn't really like editing like a lot on my mukbangs but I don't want to keep it in sniffling because that's just like gross oh alrighty you guys I am full I liked the regular hot dog better the chili cheese one was still good but I liked the regular one better The shake was 10 out of 10. The fries with the queso is always a must. They're potatoes, so they're always good. And this definitely satisfied my hot dog craving. I've been craving a hot dog for a while. I was just kind of scared to try it because I didn't know if I'd be able to eat it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you guys. Bye. Maybe a nap. ASAP. Ooh. <laughs>